I'm the greatest alive. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. I'm the greatest alive. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. I'm the greatest alive. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. For real. That's how I feel. For real, that's how I feel. Put all hatred aside, I still feel, I still feel that I'm the greatest alive. When they hear me say I think I'm the goat, they straight. What up? What up? What up? It's your boy PE to the PE. Positive energy, aka Bud Butts, aka HI, aka Pep A Spliff. So, shout out to the real battle rap community, the TRBRC. See everybody moving and grooving and doing what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Check the descriptions. Check the description for the links below. Excuse me for stumbling my words. Check the uh, description for the links below. Holler at all my mans and, and them at the uh, TRBRC. Y'all know what it is, man. October the 6th in Philly. It's going down. Cassidy versus Arsenal at the TLA. Get your tickets on LiveNation.com. Get your tickets at LiveNation.com. They are going fast. Whew, they are going fast. <coughs> so, yeah, man. October the 6th, man. We've been telling y'all for months. This here is official. Both battlers then announced it, then posted it. Paperwork must be done. You know what I'm saying? Everything good. Uh, I was riding around this morning. And it's funny how as soon as Cassidy announced this battle and it's been officially announced for everybody, battle rap scenes, it starts to get lit. You had a couple cars before here, try to put an all-star lineup. Nothing generates a buzz like the Mayweather and Battle Rap, man. Everybody should know. Gas is the money Mayweather in this shit, man. Give you a good fight every time. Come out on skate. So, like I said earlier, you, still, you got good still. Bumping his yappers. Talking the dumbest shit ever. He just looks so like a clown. Like like Cass said in his interview. His soul looked too. He don't even look confident in the little dumb shit he be saying. He even was naming all the fucking rappers that was in the front. Playing in the Avengers role. Admit me. Then you got Sirius Jones. I was just... You know, I like Sirius Jones. And what I don't think Sirius Jones understood, and I ain't speaking for Cassidy. The way, so what I'm going to say is the way I took the interview and what Cassidy was saying. I don't know what he was trying to say. I'm telling you how I took what he said about y'all piecing it up. I took it as he didn't think it was cool to be piecing it up on camera. For the average fans to see y'all, you know what I'm saying, hugging up, not 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 y'all hugging up. I don't want to use that, but dapping it up, and it looked like a couple times Sirius Jones was trying to get mad dap, but Matt didn't really get dap, and they waited to the end, and then they finally gave dap. So, but like what he was saying is like it should have been for the cameras. That should have been something y'all did behind the cameras and let the fans still feel that it was that it was still tension and beef and that the beef was real even though y'all could go on y'all different platforms separately and say nah we squashed it you know what I'm saying we, you know what I mean you know it is what it is we didn't we didn't got past our differences and I for one think it's dope that y'all squashed y'all beef and all that I'm not here to promote the beef of it. I'm just saying I, that the way I took it is he just didn't want it to be shown on camera. To me, it's neither here nor there. I didn't I didn't find it as a, as like a, like a, I guess a diss. But Sirius J 
Jones is entitled to to see it whatever way he want to see it. I can't tell that man how to view out of his eyes. Because then it's his eyes and that's how what he feeling. So that's what he thought. That's what he thought. Man. And that's what he said. But I ain't... Some of the shit I... I didn't like that he said, though. I mean... Y'all can... Y'all... Listen, y'all can keep running with the same silly narrative. I'm, I'm tired of going over it. But it's the same shit. And everybody know it's, that's just y'all uh, clamoring for a check. One thing I didn't really believe Sirius Jones when he said that he got the same type of bag that Cassidy got for disaster. Hold on, man. So you try to say you got a quarter million. Pocket check. I don't care what you got, but to say you got the same as Cassidy is a little bit ridiculous and hard to believe. Well, most of y'all only get four figures, maybe five. No, no regular battle rapper has said they got six figures yet. Not even close to it. So I mean, I'm not saying you didn't. Like I ain't in the contract room. I don't know none of the paperwork, and I don't know nothing. I don't even know if Cassidy really got 250. He could have been lying for all I know. But I'm just saying, I don't think nobody really disputed the 250 range too much. Um, so, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't there, but I, it's, it's, it's hard to find opposition to him getting at least 200 plus. So, maybe he did, maybe he did. The last thing I see. But, you know, no diss to Sirius Jones. He cool. I like this Sirius Jones. Didn't like that diss. You want to battle with Cass, we feel that. Moving on to the next. And it's your boy Piper Boy. Now, I went on to his video, so I wanted to see how... If he had some reaction to my man Jersey Niner or anything like that. Which, uh, to my surprise, he didn't. Whatever. It is what it is. Maybe he don't want to acknowledge it. Maybe he don't want to give no credence to it by saying that. Whatever his reason is. But I do know his tone was a whole different tone than the, um, let's set up a box, the match tone. It was kind of like totally different. It's, it's kind of like he doing the same Finn Lab type shit, like, but this time he trying to do it the other way. Like, I think he feeling the fact that Cassidy is back, and Cassidy will be back, and he see that his numbers, while he talk about numbers and all that, he see how his numbers are generated by putting Cassidy in his title or him talking or blogging about Cassidy. He knew that. Now, to me, I, like, I'm... I don't know how nobody else feel about Piper Bird, but from what I seen on camera, he don't seem like he's a, a, a stupid dude. And even 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 the stuff that he do, he seem like he a pretty smart dude, in my opinion. Because usually smart people is the ones who hate like that to to think to strike a motherfucker's channel. Most motherfuckers, the like, smart smart motherfuckers are really the, uh, the most plotting and. and Sometimes that's why the, the smart evil genius in in, in the uh, movie and always be going on some other shit because they be so smart they be thinking of angles that other motherfuckers ain't. But the angles they thinking of is negative angles that that and, that, and that's where that's where they get their advantage because they think of the negative angle angles that most motherfuckers ain't thinking of to strike motherfuckers' channels and all that. Talking. Basically, bro, on some 100 to me, he trying to he trying to sound he trying to take the TRBRC our principles and our thoughts and idea and apply them as if that this is how he's coming across. And then at the same time, try to come across like we, the real ones, is uh, nobody like. The Cassidy fans that we trying to uh, convert don't like us, so they ain't gonna. They we like basically we making it hard for Cassidy because they don't like us, so they ain't gonna give Cassidy a chance because they don't like the TRBRC. But yet you, you, but yet you echoing 
everything the TLBRC is saying. Everything we've been saying. How you give it a how, oh, but yeah, I gotta give it to them. If you look in the comments on the YouTube, the mass majority of everybody is saying like, um, um, a battle rap is only a small niche of people. So while people in the battle rap community might be saying we won, the overwhelming mass majority of people, whether they Cassidy fans or not, was good Cassidy winning, bro. Fuck, we been told you, motherfuckers. Like y'all act like y'all. This is how slow. This is. Like I, I hate. I know people who be super intelligent dummies. You know what I'm saying? Cause they be real smart to some shit, and then they just try to play stupid all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't be real smart and then try to play stupid. Like you didn't know, bro. We've been saying this. This is what we've been saying. This. This is our whole argument to you, motherfuckers. And now you want to try to take our argument and flip it and try to make it your own. Like you came up with these thoughts and principles. No, you ride whatever thought and principle that can get you motherfucking clout. Clout chasing. Whatever can get you views and clicks is what you screaming. But I'm in screaming this shit with no subscribers, no views, less than 10 views. I don't give a fuck about how many views, how many likes, or how many subscribers I got. I'm here to tell how I feel and what is real. What is 100? And he and then even Goods, his own out his own fucking mark, said he ain't got bars like that. So why the fuck would you battle a motherfucker who coming with crazy bars just to try to crack on him and say I made him look like a crackhead? No, you did, motherfucker. You the one motherfucker sitting here like you want you so worried about this image and keeping up that. Oh, forgive me, I did another I did another interview, but so I had the same shirt. Who give a fuck what shirt you got on? Really say you dirty thing? I don't what. See, this is what y'all don't understand. And Piper Boy, too. Just because you have a bigger platform and more subscribers and more views don't mean that what you said is the truth. It's just that mean that you've been talking to people for longer than I have. Or somebody else like your mom's favorite have. Or... Uh, Phones Jones the plug have you know what I'm saying or Willie Green who who Willie Bean who been who, who you know what I'm saying just starting out you know what I'm saying that don't mean that what we saying ain't was real we just now decided to talk and tell you motherfuckers because of the injustice that you motherfuckers is trying to pull y'all trying to paint this stupid ass narrative that a no bar nigga like good could ever even stand in the ring and fucking battle fucking cash. Greatest alive. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. For real. That's how I feel. For real. That's how I feel. Put all hatred aside. I still feel. I still feel that I'm the greatest alive. When they hear me say I think I'm the goat, they straight.